Yo, 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 it's the Xbox Goes Kaleidoscope with some unique views and news for the YouTubers here on YouTube. And this holiday season, everything is really going to start popping off, know what I'm saying, for both camps. And one camp is actually rising above all the bullshit from the other camp. Now, we know what the Sony camp said at the start of this generation. The future of gaming is 1080p, 60 frames per second. Alright, now, we all know that shit turned out to be bullshit. Why? Because not one Sony first party offer for this generation is actually 1080p, 60 frames per second. You know what I'm saying? And the ones from last gen, they still trying to drop frames. You know what I'm saying? Like The Last of Us being an example that was dropped down to 44 frames. And it actually wasn't rebuilt from the ground up. Like, let's say Gears of War Ultimate, all they did was up the shit. And raise the frame rate. That was it. You know what I'm saying? And then you look at what they offered recently. You had the God of War 3. Not the, not the collection, but just the 3. You know, and they removed the multiplayer. <laughs> oh, well. I guess it was too much work. You know what I'm saying? Or it was too much money to fucking implement. And then the Uncharted trilogy. Another remaster. You know, fine as all three games. But they did the same thing. They up it and, you know, and raised the frame rate. And they removed the multiplayer component. Now, that's just sad, yo. Really? Now, what is Microsoft doing? So far, they've came out with Rare Replay. 30 games for the price of one. And a lot of them fucking classics, yo. From fucking Cameo to Conquer's Bad Fur Day, Perfect Dark Zero, Jet Force Gemini, and Battle fucking Toad, yo. You know what I'm saying? And then they followed that up with Gears of War Ultimate Edition. Which runs at 1080p, 30 frames in the single player. And 1080p, 60 frames per second in the multiplayer. All right, and not some bullshit that marketing created, like Sony's marketing team called Temporal Projection. Really? Get the fuck out of here with that shit, man. I mean, these motherfuckers create a whole bunch of bullshit. I remember the cell processor, right? I know I. But let's move on. You know what I'm saying? And then they followed that up with in September with Forza Motorsport 6, a game that runs at 1080p, 60 frames per second. Damn, and these are all first-party titles. What the fuck? You're telling me that Sony can't do a game that runs at 60 frames? Really? Not that first party? Hmm. They're following that up pretty soon with Halo 5 Guardians. You know what I'm saying? And that one's also at 1080p, 60 frames per second. Damn, and this was an underpowered console? It seems the other way around, you know, if you're looking at it from my perspective. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of sad. And then they're also going to follow it up two weeks after that with Rise of the Tomb Raider, also running at 1080p. Right? So basically, all the stuff that Microsoft has promised at the beginning of the generation, they've actually lived up to. While Sony has not. Alright? I mean, how is that greatness holding up? You know what I'm saying? from what it seems like to me, y'all still waiting on fucking greatness. Meanwhile, since the day I bought my console, I've been playing greatness, yo. Hold up. That's just how it is, man. That's the truth. Gosh, honest truth, yo. And then they're talking about that Fable Legends might end up dropping this holiday season as well. Good lord, I don't know what I'm. <laughs> how the fuck I'm gonna play all these games, yo, really? Now think about it this way it's Christmas Day, you know what I'm saying? The little Johnny runs down to the Christmas tree, alright? And what he finds under the Christmas tree, he gets Halo, he gets Forza, he gets Halo, he gets Forza, he gets Gears of War Ultimate and Rise of the Tomb Raider. <laughs> Meanwhile, his homeboy down the street that has a PS4, he runs down to his tree that morning, and what does he find? He finds a rock with a note under it. And what does the note say? <laughs> the note says, we got sales. Because <laughs> obviously, y'all ain't got no brand new first party exclusives, yo. Oh, well, you know what I'm saying? That's what happens when it's exclusives versus sales. And me, I'm going to opt for an exclusive every fucking day of the week, son. You know what I'm saying? Especially these type of fucking exclusives. By the way, I'm signing off saying, and there it is. Clear as motherfucking day, yo. You know what I mean? And guess what? For Black Friday, Xbox One is $2.99 with two games and two fucking controllers, yo. Word up.